Hey everyone, I'm Sarah Fish. And I'm Brandon Price. And this is Fish or Price Ranch. Ranch. All right, we're walking over to my truck. Are you guys excited to see what's in here? I'm so excited. Let's check it out. Here are the new animals for Fisher Price Ranch. Hey everyone, welcome back to Fisher Price Ranch. Um, today I have some really exciting news. Uh, not only do we have some more new goats, <laughs> uh, we sold some. Uh, if I, if you guys remember, I had some from um, that other herd that we purchased, and I didn't need all of them, so we sold all those that we didn't need, and. So we got some new ones. Now these ones have kind of been in the works for quite a while. Uh, we had a little bit of DNA issues, but we finally got that sorted out. So we finally picked up those girls. I'll show you guys that in a minute. Um, but right now I'm in my shed and I'm rummaging for a few things. So let's go see what we're going to do uh, for our exciting news. Alright, so here's all of our junk that we've kept. And somewhere over here... Aha! I need some of these that are dirty. We're going to be cleaning them up. But I need those two. And then I should have some bigger ones. Oh, there's another short one. Let me see if I can find. Let's see. Get the little clip right here. So I think I saw one laying on the ground over here. Yep, there's one right there. Things kind of got a little bit crazy here. Here's a bigger one. So I'm gonna, I have one more big one already kind of in place. So we're going to wash these up. And then we're going to go see the new goats. And then I'm going to show you what these are for. All right, so we are officially in the dough pen. Everybody's looking really good. Uh, we're officially, as of today, we are six weeks before these girls start popping with this one going first. I apologize for the wind. Um, unfortunately, it looks like three of the girls that we bred did not take. Um, however, Brandon and I had a conversation a couple days ago, and we decided that we're going to breed the other half of the herd in three weeks. Three weeks because a bunch of them were just in heat yesterday and the day before. So, Capers Jr. here, um, she did not end up taking, which is a bummer because that was to Hawthorne. Um, so that's, yeah, that's a bummer. And then I remember telling you guys that Divinity right here did not take. Um, she was also, also bred to Hawthorne. But luckily the other doe, the black and white one down there, that Hawthorne bred is heavily pregnant. So I know it was just probably one of those things. It just kind of happens. Um, so she didn't take, and then the third one, looks like Pippa over here did not take. And she was bred to Bazooka. So we'll rebreed those does when we breed the rest of these girls. So we've got nine that we're gonna breed, including Evie. And we've got um, Tipsy Fiddler over there with the white leg. And, oh, let's see, Bijou over there. She's one of our new ones. She's going to get bred. But anyway, we, and then Tipsy over here. We have two Tipsies now. Um, the white one that always looks pregnant. Uh, so we're going to be breeding nine girls in three weeks. Um, hopefully they'll all go into heat within a reasonably time frame. We had uh, three girls in heat yesterday and one in heat the day before. I haven't seen anybody yet today, but... Anyway, at least half of them should get bred within a couple day period. But let me show you our new girls. I have to find them first. We just fed everybody, so they're all happily eating. Oh, there they are. Hey, girls. So it would be the one with the black cape. Well, Opal, you're hiding the two new girls. <laughs> Anyways, the two farther ones back. Let me get um, out of the sun so you guys could see them a little bit better. Well, now they're just running from me. <laughs> they're a little skittish. They'll come around. Well, the little white one is the other one's granddaughter. So the little white one, 
A um, couple years ago, we sold one of our bucklings, and the si that would be the sire to this little doling. Um, he is Bazooka's half-brother, same mother, different fathers. So she has a little bit of relation to our herd, um, but not a lot. And then the other one, her registered name is Dark Caper. And as you know, we have a Capers Jr. Well, Capers Jr., this is her mother. So we got Capers Jr.'s mother. She's like a black and blue and some white, and she has blue eyes. She's gorgeous. Um, so as you can see, she has the exact same colors, just like her daughter, other than color, I, I should say pattern, not color, because she's black and blue with a black cape, head and, and sh uh, neck and shoulder, and then her daughter is red, with the, but the same pattern. So they're related. Um, so anyway, I'm excited. I've been trying to get them for a little while. Um, my friend Marlena that we were staying with, she was going to get them, but she ended up getting an, a different one from me. If you guys remember Maggie or Magnolia, um, Marlena took her, so I ended up buying these two. Um, so anyway, those are our two new girls. Hopefully they'll come around a little bit more as they get more comfortable. They've only been here for a day um, and a half, I guess, so not very long. But those are our new girls. So we're going to get back to our exciting news hiding in the truck. Look it! We got bunnies! Hi! Oh. Well, anyway, there's the bunnies. One of them. We have three, but we picked up two so far. We uh, have to get our other female. But this is one of the girls. And then we've got another one right there. That one's our male. So they call these bucks and does just like goats, so they're not confusing, thank goodness. Um, I'll tell you a little bit of my backstory. So real quick, a little bit of my backstory. Um, I used to raise rabbits quite a long time ago. Quite a long time, meaning probably I had rabbits three, almost four years ago, um, but I raised them for about five years, and we ended up showing them. We had grand champion lines. Uh, they won quite a bit, um, and anyway, we ended up moving to Vernon at the place you guys saw before we moved here, and we had a rabbit barn that we built and never had an issue with wildlife. We had coyotes every day and everything, um, but one morning, Brandon and I woke up. We heard a bunch of ruckus outside. So Brandon went outside, and he heard growling coming from the barn. Um, a neighbor dog came in, and he attacked him. And we lost 16 that day. 16 of my show rabbits. We used to raise Flemish Giants and Standard Rex. And that was really tough. Um, being a farmer, kind of new to farming, you know, I went out there with my gun, and I aimed it at the dog, took the safety off, and I couldn't pull the trigger. I know it's not the dog's fault. Um, you know, the owners need to keep the dog in the yard like we do. You know, if my dog ever got out and attacked somebody's livestock, I'd, you know, take care of it. Um, anyway, so we called the cops. They found who the owner was. The dog lived a half a mile away. And... Anyway, so we filed a report and everything, and they said they'd keep the dog on a chain and all that good stuff. Um, next morning, it was back, um, and it came with their other dog, and they got in the barn again, even though we had wired it all shut, fixed the barn up, they still got in, and they killed more. We ended up losing all but, I don't know, about four of our rabbits, and then... But one of those we haven't put down a little bit later because of injury. And then the other one, um, he was paralyzed and he couldn't move. And I was able to, with massaging and essential oils and stuff, I got him to where he get he could get around. He was able to hop. He'd kind of fall over a little bit, but he was able to get around. And we ended up adopting him out because we couldn't use him in our breeding program. And I think the stress in the barn was just too much. So we adopted them out to a family. They are amazing. They uh, they took him on vacation with them. They sent me pictures of him on the beach. Um, so he had a great rest of his life, thank goodness. Um, anyway, I tried to get back into the rabbits again, but you know, five years of work gone, 
and it's hard to start over. And so anyway, I was buying rabbits here and there, and and uh, they just weren't working for me. Um, so I ended up, I just gave up, and I sold out. So, it's been many years. We finally have rabbits. I'm very happy about this. So let's go get them out and uh, get them set up and, and situated. All right, here we are. So this is our buck. And we're going to start with him. Ain't you, bud? Oh, you're a handsome boy. Yeah, so they're both uh, what they call the color is a broken chocolate. So it's a chocolate coloring with white. And that's what they call broken for the color. So what we're going to do is I've got fresh water here. And I'm gonna dip that in. And then I get one of my little clippies right here. And then we'll clip this on the outside. And then this goes like that. Unfortunately, I, I don't have a stand for my uh, video camera, so hold on. All right, so his water is set up. I already went ahead and did hers. Now the reason you want it a little bit high is you see how low her butt is. They will pee outward. <laughs> so you don't want them to be able to pee in their water. So you want it up a little bit high, and we're going to do the same with the food. And then I actually, back when I showed rabbits, I had these cages actually designed specifically because I had the Flemish Giants, which are quite large. And when you transport rabbits to a show, you want them to be in a small area um, so they don't hurt themselves. But I liked my rabbits to have a little bit more room than the small cages that they had them in because they're in there for usually at least a full day, if not a couple days. Um, and then I had a hay rack made, so just this little section here, you shove a bunch of hay in there and they can eat it from this side, and it just kind of keeps it a little bit cleaner. Um, but we're going to go ahead and I'm going to show you their food. So here's the food that we bought, um, and then whenever you buy new rabbits, you want to make sure you get a transition food. So you want the food that they've been eating, and then you're going to mix it with the food that you have. But you're only going to mix about the same amount. So this amount of feed that she has given me for these rabbits, I'm going to take the same amount of my feed and we're going to mix it together. So I just happen to have this tub sitting here. So I'm just going to dump all this food in here. And then we're going to get out my food here. And put about, yeah, it's definitely a different feed. These pellets are a lot thicker. You can kind of see the difference there. So we're definitely going to mix the same amount of feed. And this should last the rabbits close to a week. You want a good week transition. Now usually when I get about down to three and a half of this mixture of feed, then I'm going to add more of my pellets. So we slowly transition all the way down to straight pellets that I have. So probably one more handful is good. We're just going to mix it really, really well. That way it's a nice, even feed. And you just don't want to upset their stomach. Alright, so now we'll take this over. I know, I'm sorry. You're okay, guys. We're going to do the same thing. So the buck is going to get the blue bowl. So because they look almost identical um, until I get to know them. We're going to use the blue bowl so I know who is who. You go, bud. What do you think of this? No, that one's empty. Oh, there you go. Is that yummy? Yeah. Yum, yum. Good boy. All right, we're going to clip that up on the side. And then we're going to go get some hay for these guys. Here you go, girl. You want to try some? Are you hungry? Yeah, there you go. Good girl. All right, so I got a little mixture of ryegrass and a little bit of alfalfa, not too much alfalfa, because rabbits can get fat. And what we're going to do is I'm going to shove ryegrass in here first, and I just got all the loose stuff out of the hay, hay barn. Here we go. Now I'll shove a little bit of alfalfa in there and kind of pick through a little bit. Go. All right, so that's full, and he is all set. Yay, good boy. Here, you want 
in a piece. It's alfalfa. Come on, try it. You'll like it, I promise. Yeah, see, I told you. I told you. Yum, yum. <laughs> All right, so now what I'm going to do is, because they're going to have to be in these cages for um, probably about a week before we can build them a rabbitat area, um, I don't want them to pee and make these bottom of the cages all nasty. So what we're going to do is unclip them. There we go, and then the bottoms come off, and we're just going to set them over here in the grass. Alright, so they're all set. They've got their hay, their fresh water, and their pellets. And see, he's already munching on the grass outside the cage. That's why I figured they'd like it right here. They've got plenty of shade from the trees, so they won't get beaten on by the sun. And they should do just fine. They'll get a little bit of sun. In the morning, it kind of comes up over here. They'll go behind the trailer and come up over here. So they'll get just maybe an hour of sunshine, but the way I put them, their hay will give them shade if they decide they want more shade. But this is just their temporary setup so we can get their new place built. And then we've got another female coming, like I said, she's a solid chocolate color. Um, we just had a mix up when they brought them, they accidentally brought the buck and not the doe. Uh, so we have to wait to get a hold of her. But. We'll keep you guys updated. They are old enough to breed. We'll probably wait at least a month or so. Uh, rabbits do really well in the winter time um, having kids because they don't overheat. Rabbits can overheat pretty easily and uh, we definitely want them to be in their own big space before we start breeding. They're only pregnant for about 30 to 32 days and um, so we want to make sure that they're nice and comfortable before we get going on breeding. But we're excited to get going. Uh, it's been a long time. Alright you guys, well thank you so much for watching. We're super excited to have rabbits again. Uh, I will keep you updated on them and we can start doing a little bit more info on them because I used to raise them, I know quite a bit, um, about their health and their care and everything. So if you guys do have any questions or want me to do another video like that, let me know. We'll see you guys next time.